Hello everybody, my name is Gina Badiu and this year I'm going to teach you the course of Algebra 2. Algebra 2 or Advanced Algebra is intended to help students enrich their skills and develop more concepts beyond basic algebra as they prepare for higher level mathematics courses. This course is designed to help students apply the mathematics they learned in the classroom to real-world situations, model mathematical situations, communicate mathematically, and use technology appropriately. Lessons that contain various areas of ma as mathematics to algebra, geometry, statistics, and trigonometry will be studied. Students will study real numbers, operations, and patterns, and they extend their understanding of algebraic concepts. They will work with complex numbers, logarithms, polynomial functions and their inverses, systems of equations and inequalities, transformations, mathematical models, scatter plots, and statistics. The textbook used is Algebra to Ambition from Savas, materials that you're going to use during the class lesson, a binder, spiral notebook, pencils, uh, uh, and of course pencil, eraser, sharpener, folder, uh, calculator. Uh, expected is that all the students, they will have a graphing calculator, and here in the school we are using the Texas Instruments graphing calculators and, of course, your own laptop. The main instructional objectives. Through the year, we, we will practice, we will learn about foundations for functions, linear functions, linear systems, quadratic functions, polynomial functions, exponential and logarithmic functions, rational and radical functions, properties and attributes of functions. Expectations in the Algebra 2 class. First of all, it's to be respectful. This applies to your teacher and fellow students. Being respectful means showing up to class on time and starting your do now, paying attention in class, staying away and on task, being helpful during group work, asking questions, using respectful language, respecting the classroom. You have to be prepared. Your homework should be completed on time. If you have questions, they should be written on a separate sheet to go over in class. Your notebook should be organized and labeled accurately. You should always come to class with the required materials. Notebook, pencil, eraser, uh, uh, sharpener, your calculator. Also, you must be ready to participate in class and ask questions. You have to be responsible. You will succeed in my course if you work hard from the very beginning. In math, concepts build on one other, so it is imperative that you practice and understand each new topic. Be ready to review old concepts at the beginning of the year and if they come up later in the semester. It is your own responsibility to catch up if you miss an assignment. Practice integrity. Always turn in your own work. Don't tell people the answers. Explain the process to them so they can learn how to find the answer themselves. Grading formula. Through the whole year, there, there are going to be four assessments. Semester 1, two assessments, and then semester 2, another two. Each one of them, they will be graded in the following way. For example, assessment one. Uh, there, through this assessment, they are going to be taken two tests. Together, they will represent 15% out of 35% per assessment. Quizzes, 5%. At the end of each lesson, without being announced, expect there is going to be a quiz. And the test, in general, at the end of a chapter. Assignments and homework, 10%, and participation, 5%. Altogether, 
35%. So assessment one, assessment two, and three and four later on, they will be in the same way together. The final exam at the end of the semester represents 30%. So together, all together per semester, there they are going to be 100%. Homework policy. You will be assigned homework every day the class meets. Some homework will use websites, while other assignments will be turned in on paper and graded for completion or accuracy. Since I give you answer key, you must show all your work on homework to receive a credit. So that means don't just put, when you have homework, don't just answer questions. Show the steps to get the answer. If you still have a question the day of class, Write it down on a separate sheet of paper and let me know at the beginning of class and I will set aside time after the, the do now to address your questions or review the problem. If you are going to be absent, if you miss class, you can find your missed homework assignments on the daily UC page further practice block. It is your responsibility to find out if there is any in class work you need to make up. You will be able to turn in missed assignments late without penalty an amount of days equal to the number of classes you missed. So for example, if you miss one class, you have one day after your return. If you miss three classes, you have three days after you return to complete your assignments. Cell phone or any electronic device policy. The use of cell phones is not permitted in class at any time without permission, even as calculators or your laptop. Phones may be taken and stored for the remainder of the period if they are being used during class iPods and other MP3 players are also not to be used as calculators. Breaking these rules will lead to demerits. Academic dishonesty. All of a student's work is expected to be his or her own. Cheating in any form will not be tolerated. If a student is caught cheating, he or she will receive a zero on the assignment and parents, guardians will be connected. Let me remind it to you that Algebra 2 is part of ACT Math Subject Test Level 2. So with all of those, I all wish for all of you, I wish you a good and happy new scholastic year. Thank you.